two days ago. Two days ago. That was on Thursday at night. I saw a vision when I was here in church. I was in the office. And I saw a vision of a land, a place. It was a vision of a land and a place. But I couldn't tell in my vision where exactly that place was. Because I was in the office and I was serving people and people were walking in and out and you know. And you, as you know, visions are short scenes. Things that you see in the spirit but for a very short time. So I saw a vision that I was I was in a, a place but I couldn't tell where exactly the place was. But there was a, a very heavy storm. A very heavy wind that came from west of the place where I was standing, from the west side of the place. And it swapped structures and people just like a it, it behaved like a, a river in taking a bend. And I just saw things collapsing, structures collapsing and it disappeared. I didn't take keen interest but that does not mean I wasn't moved. I was moved but because of what I was doing, I know and and I was also planning to come here to minister actually Thursday and I was it was during that thing of sub nani nani. I think that's what was happening. So we started here in Vuvuzelas and we walked out of this church after the service. Today at night now I'm shown now the pure full dream of it. Just towards the morning, I'm shown the pure full dream of it. I see structures collapsing by a very strong wind and there is huge damage and casualties taking place. And somebody, an old man came and stood next to me and told me, are you seeing what is happening? Then I told him, I'm seeing. And why are structures collapsing? And he told me, go and warn your people. Go and warn your people. They still have a grace to revoke the covenant of LGBTQ because I've started with the masters. I'm coming to the servants. And those who walk out of the covenant, I will spare their land. This message is for Kenya. This message is for Tanzania. And I think I will speak as a prophet. I think Ruto has suffered enough. What he has faced is the worst that all presidents have ever faced in this country. He doesn't need to get more. So may this message reach to our government. We withdraw from any covenant of LGBT, LG, LGBTQ because heavens are passing judgment on each and every nation that passed LGBTQ. And what I saw in dream, Kenya, we are not firm. And remember, our God hits simultaneously as he increases the volume. And no man can withstand the hand of God. God decides to strike. So we just need to first and foremost pray. But at the same time of praying, our government need to be informed that the mind of God on nations that passed LGBTQ remember we may have passed it two years ago, three years ago, four years ago, five years ago. But the Bible says, the Bible says, a thousand years on earth, it is just one day in heaven. So what is five years ago? It's a long time to you as humans. But to God, just some few seconds ago, because a thousand years because one thousand years on earth count one hundred two hundred three hundred four hundred five hundred six hundred seven hundred 
800, 900, 1000 years here on earth. Long time, long time. But before God, it's just one day ago, which is called yesterday. So even if we passed it five years, it's not long time ago before God. Even if we passed it ten years ago, it's not very long. It is just yesterday. This country is not for politicians. This country is for Kenyans, including our politicians. This country is not for politicians. It is for Kenyans, including our politicians. The good thing with Kenya, it is that God has raised prophets in Kenya. That is the good thing with Kenya. At least we are a land where God, whereby God can reveal his secret towards it. That is the better part. Do you know why? Because Kenya is among the few countries that has what we call national prayer. And we pray in the morning and we pray in the evening. Every day. Kenya, we are a country that has what we call the national prayer. Every morning and every day. And if you want to know, you people pray every morning and you pray every day. And every arm of our government prays. Listen to your national anthem. And you'll realize it's not a song, but a prayer. It starts with God. It talks to God. It pleads with God. Our national anthem is a prayer. Telling God what we want, what we admire, and what we really need from him. And recognizing the supremacy of God over our land. And also, our national anthem says that yes, we have strength. Yes, we are mighty. Yes, we are warriors. Yes, we are vigilant. But that strength comes from our God. That's why our song says, E mungu nguvu zetu. So, nguvu zetu sisi ni wakenya ni nani? Our strength in everything, it is from God. That's why God has this tendency of talking to our nation before a disaster comes. And God leaves us with two options. To take it or to reject it. As servants of God, we will, get, we will get in prayer to plead with God. Just pleading with God. So that he can hold. He can hold. I am so happy today. Sometimes back, I spoke to what was happening in Central. And I spoke of a minister who had gone to Dubai to acquire a demon. And we prayed here and we said that minister, he must get out of the seat because he was removed from the seat. We can't accept. We can't accept people to go and look for dark powers because the price behind dark powers are huge. And we are glad that probably the new team that God is electing, they will bring the glory of God to those places in Jesus' name.